Nice to meet you all. I'm Yuya Narushima. In the spring of my junior year of high school, I made my debut at a new school that I had just transferred to. What a pleasant voice! He's got me! I have a fetish for voices, and I can't get enough of his. What's wrong? Why are you standing up, Otoha? Oh, um, there's an empty seat next to mine, so I thought I could show Yuya around. Okay then, Yuya, please sit next to Otoha. I sat next to this seemingly aggressive girl. I'm Otoha Kazane. Nice to meet you. I I'm Yuya. It's nice to meet you too. Um, I'm sorry for being so brazen, but I have a favor to ask you. Would you say my name, please? Odaha. Wow, what a pleasant voice. It's exactly what I've been looking for. I like it. Huh, this is the first time anyone's ever praised my voice. You must be the kind of person who easily notices the good things about other people. And you're good at giving compliments. You're the one who's good at giving compliments. I changed my appearance, which made me very popular. I've been working so hard on my physical transformation for the past two months since I decided to transfer to a new school. I'm glad I worked so hard. Then, in gym class, we had to time ourselves while we ran 100 meters. I was never good at this before, but I don't know. Aren't Yuya's muscles amazing? Just looking at them makes my heart pound. I can't get enough of him. Ready, set, go! My body feels so light. It's like I'm flying. I finished in first place, beating all the other guys. Yeah, it's like I'm a new person. Uh, I can't take it anymore. What day? Hey? I'm sorry. I just fell in love with you. Let me hold on to you for a little bit. But... I'm sorry for that. My name is Mei Sukumura. I just couldn't resist. What's going on? Oh, great. Not too thick, not too thin. Ideal flesh, I can't get enough. Uh, isn't this a little bit too much? Oh, what did I... I have a fetish for muscles. You put a lot of effort into exercising, right? I like people who work hard, so... Can I touch you again later? It's fine. I've never been told that I'm liked for making an effort before. It's nice to meet an honest person that compliments others. I'm so glad you praised me, Yuya. Girls naturally started gravitating toward me. I couldn't believe it. The effect of my image change had been tremendous. I was almost late for the bus the next morning. <sighs> oh, I somehow made it on time. I was so excited about the day's events last night that I couldn't sleep. Hey, what's that nice smell? I can't get enough of it. I have a fetish for smells. Hey, what you doing? Oh, it's yesterday's transfer student. Oh my gosh, his smell is such a hit with my fetish. Oh, I can't help myself but get sucked into him. Uh are you a little too close? Quiet. I'm in a good place. But, but... Can we stick together for a little longer? She, she's so cute. Okay, but... After a while, the bus arrived at our school. Huh? What was that? I'm sorry for the suddenness from my approach, but I like you. My name is Kaori Hanabishi. Shall we walk to class together? Y yeah Oh, I want to be with you all the time. I love your smell. I can't believe you want to be with me so much because I smell like sweat. That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Kauri, you must be a person who can see the good in what others can't. <laughs> this is the first time I've had someone praise my smell fetish so much. I'm so happy. So many people make fun of me. My debut with this high school had already been a success. I'd met three new classmates so far, and they'd apparently taken a liking to me. I was so glad I'd worked so hard for two months before transferring schools. I was finally a new person. My school life changed drastically from that day on. 
On this day, class started and Odaha, who was sitting next to me, asked me to share my textbook with her because she'd forgotten hers. I feel like we're too close. Your face is going red. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so happy to hear you use a voice so close to me. It's comforting. At lunchtime, May said she'd prepared a lunchbox for me that would be good for my muscles, and she brought it over to me. Um, here. Say, ah! Uh... What? Oh, okay, I guess. Mm. Now I can work hard on my muscle training! Oh, good. I'm glad to see you're happy. I can't wait to see more of his wonderful muscles! After school, Kaori even showed up to the gym where I worked out! Yuya, you're sweating so much. Did you come all the way here to see me? I heard you worked out here. Am I disturbing you? I'm glad you're here. I think I'll have the strength to do one more set now. <laughs> hey, Kaori. Uh, I'm so happy. Your fresh, natural smell. I feel like I'm in heaven. Before long... The three beautiful girls began fighting over me. <laughs> hey, it's getting a little embarrassing. Cowdy, you always try to keep Yuya to yourself, but I won't stand for it. I want to touch him. Enough, both of you. It's my turn. Hey, I'm in the middle of something good. Don't interrupt me. I was here first. I'm in the popular section of my life right now. They say this happens three times in someone's life. I have nothing to be afraid of now. Well, that Yuya guy has been on a roll since he transferred to this school. Preparations for the school festival had been underway for a while already. This new school held its cultural festival in the spring. Are you leaving already, Yuya? Yeah, what's up? I'd like you to help out with the cultural festival. It's a chance for you to get to know everyone else in the class. I'm busy with my training, so I'll pass. Training for what? Just working out. Oh, right. In order to approve my appearance, I refused all invitations from my classmates. Hey, isn't this a bad idea? This is your chance to fit in with the rest of the class. You should join in. But it's a waste of time. But I think everyone wants to be friends with you. That's probably just because I'm good looking. That's why I'm putting all my energy into improving myself. I don't care about helping out with the school festival. But if you don't open up to everyone... Sorry if it offends you, but I need to focus on the gym, so I need you to go now. At the end of the assembly the next day... Who will play the role of the villain in the play is hard to decide. He's big, ugly, insidious, and mean-spirited. I don't think it's a role I'd like to play, but does anyone else want to volunteer? <laughs> what a baboon! This is my chance to humiliate Yuya! I hate that guy! Ugh, I can't wait for this all to be over. I have a hairdresser appointment. I think Yuya would be a good fit! What? Yeah, I agree! The class president put it up to a majority vote. And for some reason, a lot of my classmates put their hands up. Wait a minute! Why am I gonna be the villain? Too bad. You have no choice now. The majority of the class agreed that you're perfect for the role. Good luck with that. I received this script from the class chairman and checked its contents. Villain. Big and ugly. With an insidious and sneaky character. Are they saying that I'd be the perfect person to play that role? Because that's what they think I look like? Yuya, can I have a word? You girls thought this role would suit me too, didn't you? It's not that. Shut up! Please, listen to us. Leave me alone. All my efforts have been in vain. I ran out of the classroom. The next day, I skipped school and shut myself in my room, reverting to my old ways. Nothing has changed. I'm still the same loser I always was. Could that be a delivery? The intercom chime continued ringing insistently. Then, I heard what sounded like Odaha, May, and Kaori outside my front door. I had no choice but to answer it. You're persistent. What you want? You guys were laughing at me behind my back, weren't you? 
Not really. Just listen to us for a minute. Tell me honestly, does playing the role of that monster suit me? I don't think so. You're clumsy. You praised me and said I was an important person. That's right. You praised my fetish. I can't live without you. You need to get your head on straight. I can't imagine my life without you. You're a really honest person. Do you really think that? Hey, Yuya. Aren't you the one alienating everyone else? Me? Alienating everyone else? You transferred to our school, but did you make an effort to fit in with everyone? No, I was only thinking about myself. I think the villain has a very important role in that play. It's not a position that stands in the shadows. It's a role that allows everyone around you to shine. It's an important role. Mochio and his idiot friends think that villains are bad, but these days, they're more popular than the good guys. I don't think anyone wanted to undermine you by voting for you to play the role. But I'm a... a despicable, ugly, helpless guy like that character. Maybe there's some real kindness in the ugliness. You should play the best villain you can and surprise everyone. Oh, thank you, girls. My student life before I transferred was horrible. I was small, wore thick glasses, and had a boring personality. On top of that, I always kept to myself, so I spent a lot of time alone. I couldn't help but want to escape from those hard days. So, when I transferred to a new school, I made a concerted effort to change my appearance. I thought that if I looked good, people would take me more seriously. I guess I couldn't change my personality that easily, and I got carried away by all the extra attention. I think being a villain might be the perfect role for me, actually. I'm gonna try my best to be a convincing villain! Your voice will surely resonate with everyone. Show them that great body that you've worked so hard to get. I'm sure you'll make a cool villain. I practiced as hard as I could, but I struggled with my first theatrical experience. My desire to make the play a success grew, and I became more receptive. I'm free now. Is there anything I can help you with? Can you help me with the props? Sure! Nonsense! I wanted Yuya to be in a bad mood with everyone! Why can't things go as I planned? Let's go! Okay! I gave it my all on the day of the festival and played my part well. I felt a strong sense of fulfillment. I felt my heart grow. Mochio, thanks to you I had this chance to grow. Thanks for recommending me to play the villain. Huh? Uh, oh! Just as I wanted. We should be friends now. Mochio had a complicated look on his face. Thanks to all of you giving me a hard time back then, we had the best cultural festival ever. I think that's why I'm feeling so fulfilled right now. Thank you. We, we only did, did it because we, we love you. you. Whoa! Hey! I was the one who reacted to his smell first. His pheromones are right up my alley. That's why he's mine. That's not true. I was the first one to notice his voice. I have a voice fetish, and it's just how I like them. No, it was me who spotted his muscles first. I've never seen any other muscles that thrilled me so much. That's why I won't let either of you have them. Let's be friends, all of us. I'm a bit disappointed that the three of you only like me because I fit into your fetishes. That's just the start of it. For the time being, it seems that the four of us are in perfect balance. I learned that no matter how much you change your appearance, it's meaningless if you don't change what's inside you. From now on, I'm going to keep polishing both my looks and my personality to try and become a good person. <laughs>